What's going on everybody? So today I'm actually going to show you something pretty interesting that I think is gonna be uh, super helpful for you. Now check this out. I have what those that know what this is, it's called an RJ11 or home phone telephone outlet, right? Wall plate, so to speak. Uh, but the technical term is RJ11. And this is, they use a basic uh, Cat5 cabling. That's pretty interesting. So what's cool though, is you can turn the already wired connection into an RJ45 connector, which is right here. And the cool thing about that is when you're trying to take wiring that's already inside of a house, the thing is, is, you know, I'm trying to be considerate, so I'm not taking a whole bunch of cable. So if they want to turn this back into a telephone line, they can, they have enough room to rewire it as RJ11. Not bad. RJ11 doesn't even use uh, all of these pairs. They only use two pairs. So there you go. Anywho, I thought I'd just make a cool video that I thought was interesting of me uh, taking what I have, uh, the in-house wiring, so to speak, and uh, turning it to what I can use. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Here I am putting together the wires here. I have to untwist them, unpair them, and so that's the process here. But I'll go ahead and I'll actually just speed it up for you here in just a moment. As you can see, I am wiring the T568B method. I'm using the keystone jack there. Basically a little basket to hold all the wires into. And then you plug it right into that wall plate there. Clips in real nice. And that's that blue little uh, thing you guys see in the wall plates when you're looking for that ethernet cable connection. Here are the screws. That fit right into the plate. And I only want to do one because I need to test it. Got Cat6 right here. Plug it in. One thing we gotta do first that I forgot is we need to check with these internal, internally wired connections. They are labeled by color. And this one, well, it doesn't actually say, but I know for a fact that I can test it. So that's unfortunate, but generally they are wired like the one over here. Uh, it's like different colors like orange brown. I'll show you when we get upstairs. I'm not sure why this one doesn't have a label, but anyways, we'll be able to figure it out. It's really just trial and error. There's only a couple, like about five, five or six of those up there. And so because we don't know, I'll go ahead and seal it up we don't know for sure well if I'm thinking thoroughly I'm also trying to do a video at the same time so uh, but we want to make sure that this is cabled correctly I followed the type B uh, 568B uh, standard and I'm having a brain fart yeah 5, 568B standard which is the bottom part of that uh, key jack geez I'm having a brain fart yeah keystone jack um, anyways, yeah, let's go upstairs. All right, 
So I found the tool I was missing. This little handy guy uh, is perfect. It's a kind Klein tools. Uh, basically, it's a cutter, stripper, uh, and this is also the uh, Easy RJ45 wiring. So you can actually, uh, you can basically stick the RJ45 head in here with the Easy uh, RJ45 wires and just stick them all the way through, which is super nice when you're trying to make cables. I cannot tell you how like time intensive it is to get those things in there. Uh, very, very, I would say, geez, I'm trying to do a video, so like the terms are flying through my head. More seasoned individuals, put it that way, are uh, able to do the non-easy RJ45, super easy. Uh, but it ends up, the wires end up like really making your fingers super brittle. You do get like calluses, but like, it's just not that easy. So we're gonna open this guy up. We're gonna see which cable it is. We'll be able to test because I'll know if my items downstairs are connected. I forgot the drill. I'll be right back. The cool thing about video is there's this teleportation magic, right? So I'm gonna go downstairs and get my drill and I'll be right back, right about. It works. There's that much. We have these two already in use. That's the cable connection, internet connection. So we have another one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Actually, I just remembered I have a toner uh, equipment. So toner equipment are pretty dope. Uh, essentially, it allows you to save a ton of time where you can plug one end RJ45 a socket and basically put a tone, a frequency, through that. Come over here. Perfect example, right? But it's exactly what it does. So, a little bit more magic, just because I'm feeling magical. I'm going to go somehow and find this uh, toner, because I could not find this at first. So, it's going to be a fun little hunt. Here we go. Magic. Three, two, one. There we go, everybody. I did not find the toner. That's unfortunate. It is what it is, though, when you don't use something forever and you move a lot of things and you lose it. So the wife is helping me try to find it while she's skirmaging around the house. And uh, let's see what we can find. See if I can remember which one's which. You know what? We can eliminate for sure. So we have green, uh, the blue is already used, the orange is already used, those are pretty much the only two that are used. So we have one, two, three, and four to eliminate. Technically, five. I don't know if I want to mess with this though. I'm trying to figure out which is which. So now we have four colors. I think it's brown, yellow, blue, and red. Yes, red. Green, yellow, brown. Jeez, I can't remember nothing. So red, green, yellow, brown. And we're gonna go into each of the rooms and see if we can eliminate at least two or three. Yay, yeah, yellow, yellow. Jarvis, <laughs> Jarvis checking it out. Are you curious, buddy? What do you think this is? Well, it's nice to have you. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was so perfect. All right, now we're gonna put in, so we can eliminate yellow. There we go. All right, on to. <laughs> Room number two. Let's go. My goodness. All right, so let's have, let's have a bet in the comments. What color do you think this is? What's your bet, Teresa? Red. Red? Yeah. I'm saying brown. What's up, Jarvis? He's so curious right now. He's just hanging out. <laughs> yep. That's what I like about this dog. He's just chill. Huh, buddy? Come here. He's like, no kisses. Come here. Give me kisses, boy. <laughs> Ready? What was your guess? Red. Brown. It's red. Oh, we both lost. It's green. <laughs> Is it green? Oh my gosh. Hey. Can you imagine the odds of that though? 
Like, we both chose a color and we only had three left. Yeah. If we were gambling, man. We would have been losers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of a cool idea. I'm glad I'm filming. Okay. On to the next. That would be the eliminator. So we have green, we have yellow. Now we have red and brown left. Teresa, what's your guess? Red again. All right, brown. Jarvis, you guys sit on my foot. Ow. You sit on your foot? Yeah, with his ankle, it hurts. <laughs> That's always fun when you're doing that. Here we go, it's the final reveal, guys. You ready? Red, red, red brown. Red, All right, red. I got brown. Something fun like this, falling through a ceiling. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my keys in a certain room. Turns out, drop ceiling walls are good for something. We're back, and uh, we finally found the cable. I use my noggin. It's pretty dope, actually. Nice little investigation. I like your noggin. My noggin's pretty nice. My beard getting pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're doing type 568B B, as in Bravo. Whoa. Ooh. And so uh, I'm getting this basically ready to put into this RJ45 Keystone Jack. I remember the name this time. A lot of fun. You gotta like push it in there. And it's actually helpful if you just kind of do that. That way when you put it on a hard surface, it doesn't push the wires out. So it's helpful. B, so I gotta do solid on this side. There we go. And then down, we bring blue over here. So it's the, the stripes. So stripes go first, solid right there. Easy peasy, boy. <laughs> Alright, so now we got that, and then with brown, brown is just solid on this side and then the stripes on this side. So boom, and then boom. Remember to bring up the bring them upward. And now we're ready to punch them down. So this is the punch down tool. Put it to a hard surface, and uh, I will put my thumb over that side, and there's a side that has the, the knife, and we're just gonna That side's punched down. Basically just stabs the wires into the knife uh, part here uh, that it uses. And occasionally you'll have one that tries to escape. Okay, same deal. And boom, now you have an RJ45 uh, Jack. Now, what's cool about this, though, in my opinion, is this is super easy, easy to make. Actually, easier than uh, making a physical cable, in my opinion. So you can turn this into like a coupler, with like a uh, like a one footer. Like you can take one of these, and you can make like a, a, a coupler. You know what I mean? Sort of deal. Uh, it's, it's, it's an easy way to like, you know, do something and jam in my opinion. And it works just the same as if you're getting a patch panel because these get wired into a patch panel, which technically this is a miniaturized version of a patch panel. And then you basically plug this into the patch panel and this goes into the uh, switch, managed switch or router or whatever you're doing. So there's that. And all we got to do left now is plug the sucker in. Unfortunately, though, we are very limited on long length cable. So guess what now I have to do? It's the one thing I didn't want to do. Oh boy. I have to make a cable now. Dang it. Well. And even though this is already a wait a second, maybe not. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. 
Hey, here we go, buddy. I can't remember if this cable works or not, but we're about to find out. Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, we do need power over Ethernet. But we don't actually need the power over Ethernet because there's a switch down there with power over Ethernet. Boom! Okay, well, that actually answers that question. Does it work? That, that's pretty much what answers that question. This light actually should have launched pretty quickly if it was gonna work. Darn. And it's telling me it may not. All right, so I know this longer cable works, so we're gonna, we're gonna just use this Booyah! Alright, let's go downstairs. I might not have to buy or build another cable. Check that out. Okay, let's put that there. Come on, let's go! I'm gonna beat you, Jarvis! Dang it! Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Is it working? Do we have signal. So I believe this one. Hey, hey. Okay, cool. So, so seven is active, but it's not getting All right, and uh, looks like everything's working so far. We're about to do a legitimate test to make sure uh, everything was previously already connected to the uh, switch there. And we're gonna test the internet connection. Ho, 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 everything's looking good. Whoa, success! That uh, internet speed is horrible, but we succeeded. Check that out. That's pretty dope. Pretty excited that we were able to uh, pull this project off. And it only happened in about like, I'd say like a half hour, 45 minutes, but you'll get the highlights. So hopefully you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey everyone, Wesley here. I just wanted to give you an update and let you know, obviously this video is a little older. I still have my beard. I've cut my beard since. I just wanted to let you know, uh, been working to get my computer set up, the workflow and everything set back the way it should. So. Thank you for your patience and understanding as I get these videos squared away. Thank you guys. Have a great day.